Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with a new Volkswagen Polo Airline version 2022 model and in this video I will make a proper review for you. The car is just got here and I'm super happy, super excited to present you this car to review it interior, exterior, all the technical data, all the information about this new Volkswagen Polo Airline you will find out in this video. So stay with me until the end of the video to find out everything. If you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the new videos that will come on my channel also if you want to see the test drive with the same car with polo airline just click the subscribe button to see the notification the, the video will come probably next days will be really interesting so stay tuned guys now first of all i don't even have the price and the detail about the car it's so new the car that they didn't have time to prepare the price and all that stuff but i still have the price and some kind of information about the car so the model that i have right here with me actually the polo airline version come with two choice you have two choice of engine you can get the 110 horsepower or you can get the 95 horsepower and today i have with me the powerful one the 110 horsepower so when you are buying the airline version keep in mind that you have two options the same engine one liter petrol engine but you can get it with 95 horsepower or you can get it with 110 horsepower so it's somehow limited because it's the same petrol engine that they use it also for 95 and also for 110 anyway let me give you more information so as i said before it comes with a one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line 110 horsepower 200 newton meters also 0 to 110.4 seconds the maximum speed 200 kilometer per hour it's somehow limited there then the other important information is that all that power is connected to a seven speed automatic transmission DSG this is classic for Volkswagen it's a very good transmission guys it works really really good now the trunk space 351 liters if you fold down all the seats you will have 1125 liters so super super spacious in my opinion for a car in this class you will see in a moment also in the back there in the trunk it's really interesting we will go outside and we will talk about that the consumption of the car the fuel uh, consumption estimated vltp 5.6 liters co2 emission vltp 127 grams also the fuel tank capacity 40 liters maximum turning circle 10.6 meter also the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front and normal brake discs on the rear so the airline come with brake discs on the rear not like the normal basis version where the car come with drums brakes on the rear so that's something to keep in mind other than that McPherson independent suspension in the front in the rear you will have torsion suspensions so I just check out the price more or less the price is the same at least here in Switzerland so the car it's almost full option what you will see here it has almost everything on it so you will see as we go in the video the price of the car is 28,350 francs I will add the price in dollar for you to make an idea depending which country you are the price may be different and also maybe some option may be different so I know I have a lot of question for you and you ask me okay but the basis version didn't have these rims didn't have this option but yes keep in mind that almost all the car manufacturers they make different trim levels for different countries so not in all countries the trim level are the same i try to present you as good as possible and i i hope you get some useful information from my video anyway those are the most important information guys now let's go outside and then we will go inside and i want to talk about every single feature every single detail about this new Volkswagen Polo airline so let's do it guys all right guys so let's start the review first of all the key this is the key pretty simple the same key as on the other version as well what you can do with the key of course lock and unlock the car the car doesn't come with an automatic lift gate that's something to keep in mind but it comes with a keyless entry so if you put your hands here no matter on which door the front passenger door on the driver door you will still be able to lock and unlock the car by having your hand here and i just noticed that it works really good 
and also it comes with electronic folding mirrors that's something to keep in mind for the beginning now guys let me go inside let me start the engine i will leave also the key inside the car um, but what i noticed before i start the review i drive a little bit the car and i noticed that the engine it's incredible silent you can see we are inside here the engine it's on right now and something that i notice it's very very silent and also inside the cabin it's very silent you cannot hear so many noise from the exterior and that's something that impressed me a lot i mean it's it's really really awesome good guys that we are inside here i'm just thinking about let's start with the multimedia and the cockpit and let's talk about the interior design a little bit and then i will go outside so first of all i want to tell you that the car come with this new digital cockpit that it's incredible i mean this digital cockpit from volkswagen uh it's one of the best on the market i like it very much i like also the array the way they design the way they install this multimedia and the cockpit Cockpit. also of course you can control it from here from those controllers from the steering wheel also new steering wheel from Volkswagen with the airline logo right here uh, it's gorgeous this R design uh, logo it's really really beautiful let's talk a little bit about the cockpit so you can choose different views you can customize it and you can choose and you can see whatever you want to see in the middle there so you can see the navigation full on the screen you, you can see the gauges for speed or different information also you can have the navigation in the middle you can have the radio there you can have the telephone you can have the the car information if it, the car have some errors you can see how much range you have you can change it here to see the consumption for example and then the comfort look at this the, the consumption here i should change the language i know that i will change it uh, when i go to multimedia but here you can see also the car can read the traffic speed limit the oil temperature the trip how many kilometer you still driving until now then you can see the consumption in this moment and then that's it guys i mean you can you can customize and you can change different views you can see it like that i mean it's it's super super cool how many options you have to customize this and this is my favorite view with the navigation all over that uh, screen right there great visibility from the driver point of view uh, also on the multimedia also on the cockpit and also i like that it's tilted a little bit to the driver and it's it's perfectly positioned here now that we see the cockpit let's go forward guys down here the steering wheel the steering wheel has great great grip great quality to be honest i didn't expect to find such a good quality in a polo but i guess this is somehow one of the top range version and you have a great grip i love the design love the new logo the buttons here are very easy they are somehow classic uh, but very easy to adjust the, the the cruise control the car come with a new travel assist iq travel assist from volkswagen so i will show you in the test drive video there you can see uh, all that safety features the cruise control how you can activate disactivate choice different function so you can do it from here also you have the volume right here physical button i love them very simple to use them here as you see before also physical button you can change different features also you have the voice command and change the uh, music station or radio station you have the pedal to change the gear manual if you want to have some fun and then of course you can adjust the steering wheel up down forward backward manually from behind the steering wheel there now let's go to the multimedia system right here also very nice integrated with this glossy plastic uh, black glossy plastic look really really nice as we can see here not so many physical button this time the only one physical button is the blinker right here but other than that you have a glossy nice screen with the navigation here in the middle uh, the latest is navigation from Volkswagen that you can see for yourself the lag is not not really present here it's worked really good it's quite quite fast and if you choose a destination you can see you starting and in a few seconds two three seconds is just calculate the route and you can see the route also on the screen there it's awesome i mean the flickering it's because of my camera guys so don't worry about the flickering in reality you don't see that flickering on the cockpit is because the 60 uh, frames refresh rate from the camera anyway great great navigation now if you go to menu you can see you have somehow touch screen shortcut button on the side menu you have home screen 
you have close and then you have the volume. This is the home screen where you can, let me go back and you can customize it the way you want it. So you can change, you can change also the page here. If, if I was able, I have to go down there, I think. I think, yes, you have to press it down here and you can change the page. You can go to second page where you can see information about the car. You can see the navigation. You can see the consumption here since start. Uh, some helping right here if you need some help with the menu. But actually, let me go, let me change the language because I know most of you guys, for most of you, it's better to speak English. You have so many languages here to be able to change it in the multimedia system and that's a great thing. I love that. This is very, very good. Um, but anyway, this is the home page, by the way. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. And then, as I said before here, it's kind of a manual that helps you learn, you teach you how to do different stuff in multimedia. Now, if I go to menu, you have the radio, you have the telephone, navigation, uh, driver assist here, where you can change IQ drive. As I said before, you can change the safety features. You can activate emergency brake, lane keeping system, lane assist, you have the blind spot technology, and then also dynamic road signs, if you wanna see it and all kind of safety features you have it here. I have a separate video with this multimedia system. I don't wanna to go too much into detail. If you wanna see it, check it out on my channel. Media, app connectivity, you can connect your Android phone, Apple phone, but you need to use a cable. That's something to keep in mind. Then the vehicle here, you have all the most important vehicle settings, the consumptions. Then if you go down here, you have the digital cockpit you can customize and change the view the way you want it, driving data. And then you have the vehicle status if you have some errors or whatever, the pressure and tires. And then you have also the settings right here. If you go to settings, you can see you have plenty of settings from the car. You can activate, deactivate, traction control, tire, parking, mirrors, uh, opening and close the, the car, units, time and date, and the service there. So you have plenty of settings to, there uh, on the vehicle. Then here, guys, is the volume, the sound. Uh, as you can see, position, trouble, equalizer, bass, and all that stuff you can customize from here. And then you have another page where you have shop, user, help, legal info, and settings. On the settings, you have also the most important settings like units, change the language, and time and date, and stuff like that. So check out the other video if you want to see the full review with the multimedia. But keep in mind, this is kind of the latest multimedia system from Volkswagen. And in my opinion, it's perfect. The cockpit, multimedia, great job. I mean, it's almost maximum that you can get from a Volkswagen right now. Great steering wheel, we see it already. I have to say that here you have soft material everywhere. That's something that really impressed me. You can see everywhere on the dash, you have soft material on the upper side. You have also speakers in the, in the corners right there. I love that. And then going here, you have some kind of matte gray plastic that looks quite okay. Then you have the vents there, two vents also down here and also on the side, the vents very well integrated with glossy plastic around here and some chrome design. Something that I like very much and many people is very con controversial, this climatic system. You have a glossy screen, you can turn it on, turn it off from here, you can play with it just like that. It's super nice, it's, it's a great one. In my opinion, it's very modern, these new climatic system controllers. You, the car comes also with heated seats. So you have two position heated seats right here. You can change the temperature also like this with your finger. So it's quite interesting, I mean, I like it. I like the way it looks, it's simple. Uh, while you're driving, maybe it's a little bit complicated. You have to look there, where is my finger, okay, but you can get used with it in time, I think, in my opinion. Also, I noticed that it works very, very good. Also, the vents, if you touch them, if you hear it, you cannot. It's, it's quite good, the quality is quite good. It's almost in the top, I should say. Down here, even here, look at this, impressive. You don't have plastic. Here you have soft material. How cool is that? Everywhere here you have this rubber soft material. So. Yeah, people that complain about plastic in a Volkswagen, mm, this one, it's really good. The glow box, it's huge in my opinion. It's really big for the size of the car. I like it very, very much. Close the glow box. Let's go forward. Down here, you have a space where you can charge your phone wireless and two USB-C ports down there. I think you can see it, guys. 
quite complicated for my huge camera to get inside there. And then here you have some space to put your things. You have the start stop engine button, the car come uh, with start stop engine button. That's awesome. Then you have the start stop engine. You have the parking assist. And then you have the parking sensors that you can activate, deactivate. Then you have the gear shifter. That's something that I wish it was different, like from the new Volkswagen Golf, where you have that shift by wire transmission that will be much nicer in my opinion. But it's okay, seven speed DSG transmission. It's very simple. You go in reverse just like that. And then you can see the camera. This is the camera. You have that active lines right there and you have good visibility in my opinion. So. Yeah, I can complain about that. I mean, I can say it's very, very nice. Anyway, go back. Now, if you want to go in drive mode, keep in mind that you have two, two driving modes. You have the drive mode and you have the S mode, kind of a sport mode. So if you go down one more time, you go somehow in a sport mode. So if you go on the right side like that, and then you go up and down, you can change the gears manually. So you can have some fun with this stick as well and with this car in general. Now, down here, you have, of course, a little bit of plastic, two cup holders and a manual handbrake. This is something that I wish it was an electronic one, but I guess it's fine. Then you have an armrest right here that you can extend it a little bit. It's a stuff material armrest. And then you have some storage space inside there. It's quite good. It's small, but it's good. Talking about the mirror and the visibility a little bit, if we look a little bit around the windows, it's quite good visibility also in the mirror, also around the windows. So no complaining in terms of visibility. It's perfect. Anyway, Volkswagen makes some super practical cars. Now you can see why you can take a look on the seats in the back there and we will talk about the seats in a second. Up here, something that I like very much and Volkswagen still keep this, it's this glassy support. I really like them. And also I like the fact that you have LED lights inside the car. This is a good thing. I really like that. Visibility in the mirror, also very good. Very nice mirror up here. No problem. Great mirror, small, compact. And here you have another mirror with an LED light. So very, very good quality. Good quality also on the roof from this point of view, it's great. Now, talking a little bit about the seats and the comfort on those are seats, we will talk in a second about them, but the comfort, it's very good. I mean, you feel like you are in a Passat or a Golf, you, you feel like you have enough space right here. So somehow Volkswagen Polo, it's growing uh, in size to a Golf probably. But anyway, it's great. I like it. Good guys, now let's turn on the blinkers. I want to turn on the lights. Also, we have these classic lights. Again, turn on the fog lamps. And before I go outside, I want to talk a little bit about the seats, guys. Look at the seats. We have these R special seats for the car and they look lovely. I mean, I love them. As I said before, very good comfort. They are very bright, very big for the size of the car. Also, you have somehow uh, kind of an Alcantara in the middle here. Not sure if it's Alcantara, but it feels the same. Then you have the R logo right here, some stuff material, some kind of stuff material in the middle, but they look lovely. I don't know about you. I like the seats very much. They are manual adjustable. So keep in mind, you have to adjust it manually front back, but overall they look very good. Great. Down here, the car come with aluminum pedals, the airline. So I love the pedals. They are the same pedals that Volkswagen use it also on the other models, bigger models, I should say. Uh, and then here, as you see before, the same controllers for the lights. Other than that, we have a nice, beautiful R logo down here at the entrance, a nice design. So, you know, this is a different, different model. It's not the base or simple model. It is a different. On the door, this time on the upper side, you have plastic. This is the only place where I find plastic. It's on the doors, a lot of plastic on the doors. So in this area up here, you have plastic. The handle look lovely. And also I like this gray plastic here. It's, it looks very nice. Lock and unlock button. Then down here again, plastic, the only soft material on the doors. You find it here in this area where your arm are resting. And this is 
this is good. I mean, this is very important, this area. Here, I wish, of course, to be a little bit more soft material, but it's, it's fine. Here you have the buttons for the windows. So you can fold all four windows. You can lock the windows. You have the button to adjust electric mirrors and also to fold the mirrors electrically and also to heat because it comes with heating mirrors. Then you have plenty of storage space here and then you have the speaker with a new design on the door that looks quite, quite nice. Great. Now, let's go in the back. By the way, the doors and the handles, look at the handle, the same handle, quite nice, quite compact. I like it and also the quality, it's, it's really good. Let's go in the back here. On the back, I like the fact that you can open the door almost 19 degrees, so you have a big entrance in the car. Uh, that's a good thing. I like the fact that you have a big window from one pieces and if you want to fold it down electrically, you can see that this is the maximum position or yes, this is the maximum position that you can fold it. So that's something to keep in mind. Tinted windows here in the back, the same plastic here as in the front, same handle. I love the handle. It looks nice and also it feels good quality. But here, this time on the back doors, I find it this is one of the negative things is the fact that all the door is made by plastic so you don't find any stuff, soft material here but the design is beautiful. Then you have some cup holder here, somehow storage space, quite big and then you have a speaker. Nice. Anyway, going inside here, pretty big entrance here in the, in the back guys, a lot of space here and also they use the same design as in the front on the seats in the back as well. The back of the front seats, stuff material, some storage space here. Transmission tunnel, quite big. This is normal for Volkswagen Group. Then we have two USB-C ports right here. Very useful, great job Volkswagen, I love that. And I love the seats to be honest. I love the design, I love the way they look. Uh, they are bright, they are long. You have side support even here in the back. Isofix for child, you can install two child seats here. And then you have this nice design nice quality in the in the middle here like alcantara i'm not sure if it's alcantara but it feels the same as alcantara and then in the middle you don't have any cup holders or armrest or stuff like that it's normal for the cars in this class so yeah don't don't stress too much about that good let's go inside uh going inside you have also a hook here you have also two led lights on the roof let me close the door also the doors quality are good and I like very much the sound insulation in the car. It's perfect. I mean, you hear nothing from outside. Anyway, the visibility is very good. The only thing that I wish was different, it's, you can hear it, a little bit of soft material in this area. But other than that, gorgeous visibility. I like this little window here as well. Maybe I don't know if I find so many downside here in the car and the space, it's super good. Look at this four, five, six fingers here on the legs. Also six, seven fingers, six, seven fingers. I can stretch my leg even down there under the front seat. So in terms of space, it's very good. No complaining, nothing, no, no downside guys until now. Oh yeah, and even here it's so kind of soft. Wow, it's nice. Usually you have a stiffer down here, but this time it's really soft. And also on my back it's soft because you don't have that armrest. So I guess this is a, a good thing five, six finger on my legs, four, three, four, five fingers, plenty of space. I'm 173 centimeters, guys, keep in mind that. This is the space left and right. I guess you can have three person here for medium trips, short, medium trips without any problem. Overall, I like it. I don't know, I feel good. I feel good inside this car. And I, I like also the price. I think it's very good for a Volkswagen. The Volkswagen cars are very reliable. I'm also a fan of Volkswagen. I own a lot of Volkswagen car before. And I know what I'm telling you. I never have problem with a Volkswagen car, at least me personally. Now, let me close the door and let's go outside to see the design, guys. Or actually, let's go in the trunk and then we will look at the exterior. You can open the trunk from here. The logo, it's open the trunk. And this is the trunk. Up here, you have a triangle handle to close it manually. Then you have this protection for the trunk right here that we will take it out. I will show you how it looks without it. And then this is the trunk, guys. I think 351 liters around that. And you have some plastic at the entrance. You don't have a flat floor. You have kind of a seven centimeter deepness here. Some storage space in the left side. 
Here you have a light, a normal bulb light right here. Uh, you have hooks in every corner and under the floor, surprise, you have a huge space for a spare tire. I know so many people complain about that in my previous videos and Volkswagen probably hear them and they, here we are. A big space where you can put wherever you want, even a spare tire. So that's a good thing. So I love it. What can I say? I like it. Also plenty, plenty of space down here. Very good. Anyway, let me pause the video. Let me take this out and then we will fold down the seats. All right, guys. So this is the trunk, the entrance in the trunk. It's relatively big. In my opinion, it's huge, huge trunk for the size of the car. You can stick it in even big items without any problem, like wash machine or stuff like that. Anyway, it's big, it's big enough. And I hope you can make an idea yourself the way it looks. Now, the only downsides, of course, in this class, you cannot fold down the middle part. You have to fold it 60-40. So it's very simple, press that button, look at this. Just like that, you fold down the seats. This is the space, almost a flat floor right there, but the space, it's relatively good. You can put in here plenty of stuff. Yeah, this is it, guys. This is the space. I want to show you really good from every angle so you can make an idea about the trunk. Relatively good. Now let's go on the side. If I go on the side here, the entrance is quite good and you can take a look also from this angle. Just, I think it's quite good, almost a flat floor. Uh, and down here on the legs room you still have left some space even though the transmission is bigger but you still have relatively good space right there and uh, because we are here in the back i have to stop the video i will put everything back and then we will talk about the exterior design of the car guys all right guys so i put everything back and now i want to show you in the end the exterior design of the car in my opinion it's quite nice it looks a little bit better than the basis version uh, if you didn't see that video already check out on my channel i already have a few video with a new polo but this airline it looks a little bit better i don't know i like it i really like it it's a little bit more aggressive we have the front down bumper there a little bit more aggressive and then we have a skirt i will show you in a second and even in the back the spoiler on the roof spoiler up there look nicer and over even the bumper down there with two fake exhaust pipe look quite nice let's start with the rims something that i wish was different on this airline i was expect to be a little bit bigger to be honest i wish to see a little bit bigger rims we have 15 inch rims normally it should come with 16 inch rims i don't know why they are 15 maybe they put the winter tires i think yes i think they are the winter tires right they put the winter tires but the car should normally come with 16 inch rims those are 15 inch rims ventilated brake discs as i told you in the front the rims look nice they are okay for the winter a lot of gummy that mean great comfort over the bumps and good economy so if you get if you need good economy you can get them uh, and in the back just brake discs but not drum brakes as we see on the normal basis version other than that quite nice i like also this skirt this is extra here for the airline versions uh, and i love it it's very useful because it protected the car down there and also it make it looks better and also protect the down part the paint of the car from scratch and wherever stuff like that uh, i like also very much the lines of the new volkswagen polo you can see the lines here they are kind of aggressive i love it and then here you have the tank the petrol tank on the right side uh, i like the fact that you have glossy plastic between the windows tinted windows glossy plastic around here you have some kind of matte black um, color then the radio antenna it's in black kind of big i wish it was a little bit smaller and here i love this this part here it's one of my favorite part in this airline you can see the roof spoiler it's beautiful and glossy black plastic look phenomenal have the brake light there but this this make the car look much much better that the roof spoiler it's a really nice element we have the iq light the latest is a light from Volkswagen you can see LED lights turning signals following and then you can see also here the normal tail lights in red also the reverse light 
it's LED and also the fog lamps uh, it's also LED so you can see it from here nice design a little bit different than the previous version uh, I like also this new polo writing and logo here in the middle it looks quite nice and if we go to the number plate you can see that the car come with LED lights also on the number plate and the reverse camera it's behind the logo here that's something to keep in mind then the car something that impressed me is the fact that it comes with six sensors in the back four for parking those are for blind spot technology and also for parking and then you have these uh, light reflectors this bumper this part of the bumper look really aggressive and really nice i like it i like this black element i like the fake exhaust pipes the real one it's somewhere under there you can see it those are fake and they look nice uh, and you can see also on the other side so to make the car look a little bit aggressive so they they nail it with that i'm really curious to see this uh, polo r uh, the polo gti or r version the way it looks i think it will look really good because from the back it's like a golf it's quite quite nice anyway the mirrors small nice compact you have the blind spot technology there uh, on the other side also quite interesting lines and sharp edges you have the blinker right here in led light i like it i like also the r here on the side look quite nice this element on the both sides and also the car come with the camera can read the traffic speed limit also for lane assist and all that iq travel assist system uh, there you have also the sensor for light and rain the front of the car also look very nice i don't know man it looks really like a golf really it's look like a golf nice design here nice aggressive lines from some angle I, I think it's a golf if I look from some angles uh, also it comes with IQ light the latest technology in terms of LED lights you have turning signals everything it's LED light and it is really good trust me guys in the nighttime it's a bless to have the lights from Volkswagen down here you have also LED lights on the fog lamps keep in mind that's another cool thing that I like about the car then you have the R logo here in the front and you have even this strip LED light bar that goes all over through the front of the car I don't know if you can see it it's not so nice but here you have an LED light guys I think you can see it also some air intakes here on the grill then you have the logo Volkswagen logo behind the logo you have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features it looks really good and the down part again another thing that I love about this air light version is this glossy plastic in the front we have here again six sensors in the front as you can see and also glossy plastic down here on this uh, bumper look phenomenal man I love it really I don't know it looks so good big huge entrance here you can see the radiator there to allow the air to go to cool down a little bit the engine but the front look phenomenal love the car love it great job Volkswagen some elements that look gorgeous I think with some bigger rims this Polo airline will look amazing love it man let me show you the engine bay and I will end up this video all right guys so here is the engine bay by the way keep in mind that this is a manual lift gate you have to hold it with your hands also you have some insulation there some rubber extra uh, something that okay they work on it that's why it's so silent inside the car they isolate this really good this is the engine one liter petrol engine three cylinders 110 horsepower it's a pretty classic array for Volkswagen yeah I don't know it's very silent I like that from this point of view it's it's awesome now guys I think I'm almost done with this video I want to make the conclusion in the end and then we will end up this video let me go inside close the light and also the engine make some silent here and I want to make the conclusion so guys in the end that was the video that was the review with the Polo airline I hope you get some useful information from here I hope it was useful for you if you have question anything ask me down below i hope i didn't forget something about the car what can i say my rating from 1 to 10 the rating for this polo airline will be 9.7 it's a great car a lot of great technology led lights multimedia cockpit 
uh, great great comfort on those seats it's really comfortable good insulation in the car Volkswagen make incredible reliable cars for many years so I love the car and also the materials here are awesome just a few things that I would change but other than that it's a great great car it's a great buy and I will buy it anytime with my eyes closed because I really trust Volkswagen personally no advertising it's just my my opinion anyway guys i hope you enjoy it don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of articles videos and cars also guys i will leave the link in the description if you are in switzerland around switzerland and you want to buy the car check them out if you have questions ask me anything thank you very much to all of you that watching my video i really appreciate that guys really thank you very much also don't forget to like share and subscribe that will mean a lot for me if you want to see the test drive with this polo airline i wait you next days on the channel so subscribe to see the notification when that video will come out thank you for watching as always stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys